Excuse me, Effendi, but I could not help overhearing your conversation about valuing the gift. Perhaps I can help. Oh, well, that would be... Uh, do you have any idea how much? Of course. An original 17th century rosewater jar is very valuable. Oh, dear. You are not pleased? Yes and no. You see, if it's too valuable, the minister won't be allowed to keep it, and I was rather hoping it wasn't. Ah. Well, as I was saying, an original 17th century rosewater jar is very valuable, but this copy, though excellently <laughs> done, is not of the same order. Oh, good. Uh, about how much? I would be interested to hear your guess. Oh, uh, well, a little under 50 pounds? Brilliant. <laughs> Quite a connoisseur. And you would sign a valuation certificate? But of course. <laughs> Your English customs are very strange. Oh, why? You are so strict about a little gift. And yet, your electronics company pays our finance minister a million dollars for his cooperation in securing this contract. Is this not strange? <laughs> you, you don't mean... Of course. I work for the finance ministry. I got my share of the money. <laughs> for keeping my mouth shut. I, I see. Would you excuse me for a moment? <laughs> Minister, can I have a private word with Sir Humphrey? Oh, yes. You may speak freely. <laughs> uh, yes, but, uh, oh, there was a message for you in the communications room. Uh, uh, the VAT man, your 69 returns. <laughs> VAT 69. Oh, ah. Yes, thanks. <laughs> I'm rapidly coming to the conclusion, Bernard, that the minister has had almost as many urgent messages as he can take. <laughs> well, I've just found out the most terrible thing, Sir Humphrey. Oh, dear me. This contract was obtained by bribery. Of course. <laughs> all contracts in Qumran are obtained by bribery. Everybody knows that. It's perfectly all right, as long as nobody knows. <laughs> Shouldn't we tell the minister? Certainly not. But if everybody knows? Everybody else. Do not let a minister know what everybody else knows, Bernard. Ah, hi, miss. How very nice to see you. Ah, Lawrence of Arabia. What happened in the communications room? Oh, good. Um, who is it? Napoleon. 